Today we're going to talk about the Magnum PI effect on Doberman Pinchers. Magnum. And kind of a pain in my. <laughs> nice doggy! <laughs> Those two hounds of hell are a lawsuit waiting to happen. Okay, so here's the deal. When Magnum PI came out in the 80s, everybody saw the, the Dobermans and how well they were trained and how beautiful they were and, and thought, man, I would love to have me a Doberman because of that. Look at the people. <laughs> so they ran out and got a Doberman Pinscher uh, expecting just out of the box that this dog is going to behave that way. <laughs> Finely tuned guard dog is going to do exactly what they said. <clears throat> and when the reality set in that it's a lot of work, any dog is a lot of work, and, and, and have a dog behave in a certain way that you want to in that way is a lot of work. Now, even though the Doberman is prone to be easy to train, and they are great dogs, and, and they're wonderful for that purpose, should you know how to train them and want to take the time, they're not out of the box that way. <laughs> you know, they are dogs. So what this led to is a bunch of these dogs being taken to shelters, uh, being uh, some of them abandoned on the streets. Can you imagine a Doberman, beautiful guy like this, just abandoned on the street? And it's led to a crisis. Uh, for the Doberman because of this show. Now, they also uh, adjusted the attitude of America toward a Doberman and it led to outright banning the breed in some places uh, because they saw them as these vicious adults. Two dozen Michigan communities have bans targeting certain breeds of dogs like pit bulls. But fans of those dogs say it's just not fair. Now there's a push to ban the bans. Now I'm not going to say he doesn't look intimidating. Pretty obvious that he can look intimidating, you know, the cropped ears and all that kind of stuff. We didn't crop the ears by the previous owner, cropped the ears, by the way, and the tail. So, you know, I gotta remember to look at the camera and not me. It's hard. I look, look, look like a crazy person talking to you. I gotta remember to look into this one. Okay, so that led to a, a, a big problem with, with Dobermans. Now, the same thing happened with 101 Dalmatians. Uh, when that movie came out, it created a big problem people getting these uh, Dalmatians and uh, wanting this cute little pretty dog and when the reality set in that a dog is a dog there's going to be training there's going to be uh, issues with uh, you know exercise and space and time a lot of people dump these dogs off and it caused a crisis for the, the Dalmatian breed so what I hope people get right this time is with the information age that we have going on now that we can let everybody know that the Doberman is a great dog, a very trainable dog, wonderful companion. If you watch my videos, you see a lot of facts about Dobermans and what you need to know and things like that. But they're not out of the box, perfectly behaved animals. Just my eyebrow. They are, you know, the dogs. He's a great boy. We love him. But you know. There are things that you have to adjust to and things you need to know. And you can watch some videos. I'll, I'll, you can just browse through my channel or, or whatever and, and you can see some things that you might want to know about it. If you're going to get a Doberman, understand what you're getting into. Do some research. Um, facts that you want to know, I'll make some really quick list here, is that they need to be inside. They love you. They want to be around you. They want to be part of your life all the time. And they're not happy if they're not. Keeping them outside in the kennel is not going to work. Um, they require tons of exercise. He likes to run, 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 run all the time. So, I mean, you don't have to have a big house or yard, uh, but you do have to have an area to take him to exercise. We take him in the mountains a lot and we exercise him. Um, look how pretty he is. Other people are intimidated by him. You're going to have problems with homeowner's insurance. Uh, most homeowners insurance won't cover him. He's with neighbors who are intimidated by him. You know, he barks very loud. Uh, there's issues, with just, I've got a bunch of videos up if you want to subscribe and watch. There's that eyebrow again. What is going on? If you want to watch the videos and uh, uh, get some more information about our struggle uh, with the Doberman, what happened to us is a friend could no longer care for him 
the wife thought he was going to be a smaller dog than what he ended up being and uh, asked if we could take care of him. We had no idea what it took to take care of a Doberman and we just agreed on the spot and we learned as we went and we went through some struggles. So you can watch our, our whole struggle starting from the first video on down if you want to. If you, if you enjoy my videos, if you want to, uh, subscribe and, and uh, uh, give us a quick little bell thing and uh, if not, that's okay. <laughs>